All right, boys. I, I, I really want to see it if C9's playing a lot better now. Like, if C9 wins the series, I think it'll be really, uh, really impressive. All right. Oh, wait, we got to go back to the analyst desk one more time and then go back to the casters, get an interview from the cleaning lady in the C9 house. Then they're going to go talk to the chef of 100 Thieves, then both sports psychologists, and then they're going to go back to the analyst desk and then maybe we can get into game. So should be coming up here soon in the next like seven hours or so. We might get into the first game. All right. Into the game. 100 Thieves versus Cloud9. All right. We got Lucian Kaisa bans. Now, I wonder if Cloud9 is going to ban TF. I think TF would be a really good ban for them. TF ban? Okay. That's what I was saying was good. Nocturne ban. So, I think that Nocturne is really good on the next patch into things like Talia. Okay. Someday, Olaf, what is going to be the pick? Oh, my God. The Groomstone. Groomstone is here. Lulu Kindred first, too. Really not bad into Olaf, by the way. Okay. We got Olaf here with Galio. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, Vayne is good against all three champions. Vayne is a good pick here. It's not the best against uh, Gragas, but it's good against the other champions for sure. Three tanks, Vayne, solid. Lock it in, bro. Lock it in. Could have been a Vayne mid, too. You can flex Vayne mid bot. Okay, it ends up being Oriana, though. The Filios. Okay. There's no Thrash on the table. I wonder if there's going to be a Thrash from, from who he had to take away. They could just MF Seraphine. Seraphine's up, right? Yeah, MF Seraphine is actually pretty good here. Just do it. MF Seraphine. Cool. Got a little compy. No, never mind. They went rel. Yeah, you can probably thresh into this, right? Thresh seems good here. Cloud9 scales like a truck here. I like Cloud9's draft overall. Closer can carry a BO5. So I think that if Demonte gets Galio TF and pretty much whatever Rome champs he wants throughout the series, I think that, that uh, you'll probably end up with a 100 Thieves victory. If they're forced on Mage versus Mage, I think it's going to be a lot worse for 100 Thieves. Like, I think that this game, based off comps, even though C9 is a better comp, I could definitely see 100 Thieves winning just because they have playmaking potential and that's what they're good at. And C9 hasn't been the best team at being able to not get owned by, by plays, so to speak. Like, they're the kind of team where they kind of just run in and int to whatever play you want to make. All right, so it's going to be a Moonstone Renewer top lane on uh, Lulu. So Olaf farms faster than Kindred for sure. That's why Kindred is pathing in the opposite direction of the Olaf. It's one of the things that people have just learned to do. Now, you do technically have the option here uh, uh, for Blabber to invade vertically and try to steal Olaf's red. I think it's a decent play to go for, but if he's not comfortable with it, that's fine as well. So this is actually a Conqueror Flash Olaf. Didn't go Ghost here because of all the kiting potential. What I want to see from C9 that would make me like happy as a, a, a viewer is them being able to avoid plays that Hunter Thieves makes. So like not in TPs, not dying to random obvious ganks, good warding, tracking the enemy jungler. Like that's what I want to see. Do I think Perks needs to prove something in this series? Fuck no. Dude, this, this man has been to world finals. This guy was like the, one of the best mid laners in EU for years. You think he needs to prove something in the fucking lock-in tournament of LCS? Fuck no, bro. C9 honestly just needs to farm here. If they just farm it out, though, they'll win this game. So, Perks is saying, stay at the fucking turret. I'm going to TP top. And now, now he's going to TP top right here. And Fudge just didn't flash until late. They ended up winning it anyway. Not bad. That's really, really big. And they probably get a mark for, for Blabber too. That's huge. Huge. Massive. Like, that's like almost a game-winning play. No bull. That's how much Olaf's first clear matters and how important it is for Kindred to get ahead in this matchup. Fennel's pretty good. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that's two flashes on perks. I feel like there's not that much to do to avoid that, if I'm being honest. But sucks. Sucks to die like that. How did Fudge lane this so poorly is my question. Oh my god. Okay, Fudge just got fucking bodied, dude. Fudge just got absolutely shit on. Oh lord. Okay, damn. Alright. This is so greedy from Fudge. Like, I don't understand why he doesn't just ult the first time that someday trades just for HP. Like, if you ult when he does this trade, right, and somebody that doesn't have um, phase rush, he'll take like an extra turret shot and then he won't dive you. Nice. Blabber, you got auto, bro. Holy sh! Blabber lost his mind there. What was that, bro? Stop canceling your goddamn autos. Let that sh fly. Them getting this dragon is huge as well. Because you got this dragon, now you delay Olaf's main win condition, which is like doing side objectives and just clearing on cooldown. And Blabber's also ahead and farm on on uh, closer. 
Close is in a pretty bad spot now this game. Like, I'd say that this game state advantage is C9 pretty heavily. Uh, Harold's not going to break the turret. It looks like they're going to 5v5 for this. Fudge is level 11. Blabber is on uh, an item and a half. He's pretty strong as well. It's honestly pretty winnable. They just have to make sure that they, like... Because they don't have anyone that can really, really face check. I guess Blabber is just going to face check, huh? They got to be careful that they don't get, like, Womboed. What is Fudge doing there? How, why did Fudge walk there? He just... He literally just lost the game alone. Oh, it's so troll. What the... F why would... Bla why would Fudge ever walk there? He walked there to put a fucking pink word in the bush. And then he doesn't have... And then he has to ult himself and, like, takes the lantern out. So then Perks and Blabber get killed as a result. Like, look at this. This is completely fine. Watch what Fudge does. He walks into their whole team, drops his pink ward. And as soon as that happened, now he doesn't have his ult. Now he doesn't have his shield. And he can't ult Kindred, so ult Kindred can't ult and protect anyone. The whole point of the, the Lulu-Kindred comp is for Lulu to play with Kindred and keep the Kindred alive so Kindred can ult. Honestly, I wonder how good shield bow would have been this game for Blabber. So he can guaranteed get his ult on. I mean, I guess he's supposed to just build full damage and Lulu's supposed to protect him. I mean, maybe shield bow would have been better because Fudge is going to ruin the game, so. Okay. Oh, the combo didn't work here. Yeah, it's brutal. Blabber's just beyond dead. So Fudge thought that Blabber was not going to get his ulti off, so he ulted him, but then Blabber got his ulti off anyway, so it's just a waste of their ults. There's no synergy there. All right. They're trying to rush Baron. I wonder how fast they do it. Can we see it? Nah, there's no way. It's so desperate. There's no way. There's no way. All right, maybe they get it. If they get it and all die, like, and get it off the table, that's still a win. Yeah, okay, GG. Well, I mean, that's that's a really hard smite to hit. I don't think Blabber deserves the blame for this game. I think Fudge deserves the majority of the blame for the entire game. Wait, did Blabber, did Blabber actually have smite advantage? Wait, Closer had no smite? Uh, maybe, maybe it's Blabber's fault then. It's probably Blabber's fault pretty big then. See you in 40 minutes of the next game. So, I mean, that game is like really frustrating to watch. I don't know why I get like frustrated watching it. I really shouldn't care. But just like watching the games like be bad frustrates me. Because I'm scared that we're already behind other regions, in my opinion. Based off watching all the regions that I've been watching. It already looks like NA is behind. And then I don't know if we're going to get better in time to actually outcompete. LEC, LPL, LCK at Worlds. Like, that's the frustrating thing. It looks scary, bro. The issue is that I still have hope. Man, I just want to have fucking hope, I guess. Ah, oh, man. It's so frustrating. And the thing is, the comp was fine, but I don't even know if they'll go back to it. I feel like next game, they're just going to go standard. They're going to be like, all right, uh, let's get Fudge on Gragas. It's going to be a war of who can play the engage comps better because we've tried the other side of things and they didn't work out. So it's crazy, though. It's crazy to me. I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with how that one looked. That's all I'll say. Okay. Draft. Cloud9 with the TF ban again. I'm surprised they're not willing to first pick it. TF Galio. I like this. This is what I was saying uh, before. I think needs to be banned. Udyr first pick. Let's go. I'm hyped. The perks Yone. Oh, no. Seraphine and Udyr is a pretty nice comp, though. So, dude, this is what 103 should do. They take Renekton, just ban Gragas, you win the game. If you just ban Gragas, you win the fucking game. You win the entire game if you ban Gragas. You heard me? Ban Gragas Lulu, you've won the game. Trust me. Don't ban Nar, bro. He's not going to play Nar. Dude, you think Fudge is going to play Nar? Fudge is an LS minion. He's not playing Nar. He's playing Gragas. He's playing fucking Lulu. He's going to play Ivern top. Oh, my God. It's actually going to be Ivern top. Oh, Seraphine, Tarek, bot lane. Okay, interesting. Tarek, Tarek is actually pretty good versus Alistar, Renekton. Bro, literally, 100 Thieves should just lane swap. Rise top versus, versus Graves, Renekton mid versus Yone. Yeah, 100%. Swap, 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 swap. Walk top! Walk top right now. Swap, 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 swap. Please swap, man. Why not swap? I would be very... Fudge is dead, dude. Dude, he's already dead. He's just the type of player to die to this shit. He's just gonna die to this shit. Like, oh, my bad, guys. Oh, shit. I didn't think that Renekton and uh, Nidalee would ever gank me. Show top lane! He's dead. He's dead, isn't he? Is he dead? They're not gonna show it? Okay, he flashed. Is he still dead? He's not? Is bot lane dead? Bot lane's dead. Okay, first blood for Blabber. Imagine an LCS full clear where you know where the guy started into gank 
the opposite lane actually worked. That's so sickening. Oh my god! Closer missed the spear on the stun target. It's the only reason why Fudge lived. He missed the spear on the stun target like that. That's so sick, bro. Oh my god. It's so bad, dude. The level is so disgusting. I, I'm really tilted from watching this. This is like really, really bad. It's really, really bad, man. It's really, really bad. Oh, I guess I, guess I gotta have blind faith, man. I got I guess I just have to have blind faith. I'm just so fucking scared it's gonna happen again. It's gonna be the zero six again. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, Seraphine ult was huge there. So now that they kited out this engage, they just win it. Oh, perks with the flank. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, well played. I don't think C9 can fight this. I think C9's griefing here. Yeah, okay, I think he's let him leave. Rez is no TP. I mean, 100, 100 Thieves should not be fighting this, by the way. They're, they're really griefing by walking up here. They're really, really griefing. Closer's dead. Or closer had to flash. Okay, now C9's over chasing. Okay, everyone's inting everywhere. Another spirit missed. Okay, they get the shutdown. Nice, 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 guys. Clean game, clean game. Oh, Perks is dead. I mean, he's still dead, by the way. Vulcan is dead. Eh, maybe not. Oh! Those are at the spear. Dragon's up. They get free dragon. Heart of these is just going to win this game again, I think. And I don't think the Yone is the issue here, to be honest. I don't think the Yone's been good, but I just feel like there's bigger issues on the map. <laughs> this game has been so terrible to watch. This game has been really bad, man. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even want to be like flaming NA right now, but I just don't know what I can say positive about how this game is. Poor casters, dude. I, yeah, I feel bad for the casters too. This one's hard. Because you got to be like, and wow, I mean, we have to see what the uh, interesting draft from C9 will be able to do in the mid game portion that we're, we're getting into. You know, they do have the scaling with Seraphine. So, you know, if uh, Fudge can farm up a couple items here and, and Yone gets online, we could really have the game here. I would never do that. I'd be on there. I'd be like, Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> I just leave the cast. I will not cast this dog shit. Casting is like, it's so hard to be entertaining and also have to be like watching what you're saying and like be like hyping people up and conscious of how the, how the people are perceiving the product and all that stuff. It's way easier to just call it what it is than have to try to make a game like this sound watchable. Okay, this is like the most winnable that it gets for... Oh, okay. And Demonte just walks it out. I mean, Dragon is up. The thing is, Demonte can just recall TP, and then they just won the fight because there's no Terracult, no Seraphine ult. So 100 Thieves have already won the fight because all the um, cooldowns are used by C9. No Yone ult either, no Graves ult. They literally just have to wait for Demonte's TP. Okay, it's kind of a troll TP. Oh my god. He's got 500 million MS. Okay. I mean, Demonte just had to TP nowhere, anywhere but there, dude. So the turret might have been good. To the ward with the team might have been good. I don't know. Anything would have been fine. That wasn't that. That being said, at least 100 Thieves got Dragon, so they kind of went out in that way. It's the engage. Terracult's down. Yeah, you just kite this. <laughs> Look at how dumb of a champion Uter is. Just running around with your claws out like an idiot. Like, what the f*** is that, bro? Okay, wait, what just happened to Demonte? Demonte's just dead. Demonte just got ran down like an animal. Hey, you know what's crazy? There's zero healing reduction on the side of, of 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves have zero healing reduction. Oh, I'm so angry, dude. They actually just have zero healing reduction. Like, how could you even make the argument, dude? How could you even make the argument that healing reduction is not viable here? Healing reduction into champions that heal. Even Udyr has built-in healing in his kit. Oh my god. Closer actually stole that. Oh, okay. They finally bought it. Okay, they finally bought healing reduction. But the fact that they didn't buy healing reduction until 25 minutes into a full healing team comp. Oh my god.
kill me, dude. They didn't end up figuring that shit out until 25 minutes. That's disgusting, man. It's NA. Bro, you guys are pro players. You guys are pro players. Like, I would be all caps typing that shit in a solo queue game if I saw that. But these are pro players, man. How does Hunter Thieves win? They just don't win at this point now. Okay, they got Terra Cult. They got a chill. Oh my god, Fudge just got destroyed. Now they just hard lose, and it's going to be Soul. Hey, it's Soul. Hey, hey, Soul. Soul. Soul is up. Soul, Soul is up. It ain't, it ain't Soul. Okay, they're just going to try to win. Okay, Sven decided to send it, so now they can just win the game. But if Sven just backs and just spams Q on the wave, I'm pretty sure they can't do this. Ah, it's just game now. I mean, I think C9 actually did a good job of showing how strong their draft really was there by playing like dog shit the entire game and then still almost winning. Like, that's how good the draft is. All right, so Cloud9 banned TF for Nectin and Camille, Hunter Thieves with the Talia, Olaf, and Pantheon bans. Okay, nice, nice, nice. First pick Udir, which I like. And then you have Kaisa, not a huge fan of. I mean, I think you see this and you go Thresh Aphilios 1 2 here. If you're 100 Thieves. Oh, Lulu top. Are they going to pick the Zaya here? I mean, Zaya's actually pretty good. Okay. Yode mid again. They're, they're get determined. They are get determined. Aatrox here, I don't think is like. I mean, it, it's okay into Lulu. The reason why you pick Aatrox into Lulu is Aatrox is actually fine into range champions. Can close the gap with Q, Q1 and E. Senna Tom Kench. Okay. Senna's actually pretty strong right now with the uh, the cheese build. Would have loved to see Tom Kench top. I don't want to see anything top, bro. I literally just don't even want them to pant top lane for the rest of the stream, man. Just keep it on bot lane. Maybe we could see Sven and Vulcan just win a 2v2. Honestly, it should just be a win for C9, to be honest. There really should be, like, not many ways that 100 Thieves can win this game. They got draft capped really, really hard. They don't even have as much engage as they had before, either. Yeah, I don't know. I just see yes, lead. Oh my god. Yeah, he does. Wait, what is Perks doing? Why did Perks TP here? <laughs> what the f why, why did Perks just TP to that ward right there? What? Well, Closer just lost his jungle camps on top side of his jungle, so he needs to invade the race at least. But yeah, it's really bad to lose your jungle camps like this on Lilia into Udir. If he just backed earlier, he would have been able to contest them. Go to enemy rates, man. Go to enemy rates. Just closer just needs to go to the enemy rates, man. It's just that simple. Well, now Udir is just ahead for zero reason, though. But I mean, I guess you take this. Is that the fudge? It feels bad. Like there's not much he can do there. It feels like Hundred Thieves have just like identified the enter. Fudge just wants some CS, man. He just wants to lane, dude. That's it. He just wants to lane. Just let him lane. Yeah, bullied himself. You know, like when, when, when a bully like holds your hand and starts punching you in the face, and it's like, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Fudge was just doing that to himself. He had his own hand in his other hand, and he just fucking started going to town on his own face. Fucking sad. You hate to see it, dude. Honestly, can you even blame NA for this series? Like, how many NA players are in this game right now? Let's see. We got one, two, three. We got three NA players in the entire game. This actually proves that, that NA is the best region. When you look at the players of DeMonte, Vulcan, and, and Blabber, those are some of the best performing players here. Oh, wow, this is just tragic for 100 Thieves. They just lost the entire game going for this dive. This is like the worst thing they could have done. Wow. They were they were super far ahead and then they did that and now they're really really far but well they're not really far behind but they just like lost their their advantage it's about even now. Should be a win for Hunter Thieves. Oh my God, Perks almost smurfed on him. Oh, Fudge is going in. That's why they call him the Fudge right there. Kais is dead. It's it's doomed for Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves loses hard. Damn. They just choked super super hard. Yeah, it's going to game three, or game four rather. Gale Force into BT. 
should be a two man sleep. His health bar is very, very low. Sentinel comes on the top, doesn't do whole lots of stuff. Okay, Hui's just in there. Okay, Zven is just unkillable. They're all just diving for Sven like animals and they can't kill him at all. Feels bad. Oh, they killed him. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a it's just troll from C9 even being there. Oh my god, they lost they lost soul. It's huge. Fudge is getting one shot. Fudge Fudge is dying. Okay, Fudge died here. Closer to stopwatch. Okay, it's a win, it's a win. C9 win this game, I think. Hey, Udyr is just broken. I mean, when you have a Lulu, Senna, and Tom Kench all supporting an Udyr, yeah, it's pretty broken. Surprised he actually went Force of Nature. I mean, I know Force of Nature is good on Udyr because of the movement speed, but I think that uh, Spear Passage would have been better. There's so much healing and all that stuff. Uh, maybe they shouldn't be trying to end here. Don't think it really matters, though. They have enough sustain, they'll be okay. Yeah, they win. Perks is dead. They should still win. Oh, maybe not. Is it a throw? Uh, I mean, it's not really a throw. I don't think there's anything that Hunter Thieves can get here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any real way that Hunter Thieves still win. Like, they're just behind Soul 2. I mean, Rise has items to go, but I don't think he's actually going to be able to do anything useful this game. Okay, Elder's up. Hunter Thieves have to, like, slowly walk in. Somebody's trying to get a, f a flank. Alright, here's the flank. Good stopwatch. Perks is dead. Perks is dead. This is huge. Wait, he's just not dead for a long ass time? He should have died way earlier. I think Hunter Thieves could have won that. And it's gonna hope it's gonna be enough. He's still getting locked down. Cloud Nine pushed back, but the re-engage could be enough. Somebody's at 200 XP. Oh. I don't know what happened to Demonte there. I mean, I'd have to rewatch this. It looks kind of fucked up. This fight cannot be won by hundred thieves. Will there be a chase? There's oh, a they're just dead. There. GG. Go game three. Oh, Fudge is randomly dying, but I guess it's fine. What happened to, to Demonte there? Because it looked like Perk should have just died for free. So I don't know what actually happened that made this a close fight. I'd have to see the replay. He ulted on the back line for no wait, they just needed to kill Perks and fight front to back. Their team comp does a lot less damage when Perks is dead. When Perks is dead, their only consistent source of damage is like Senna, and Senna doesn't even have that like high like DPS. So the the range and stuff is good on Senna, but in terms of pure DPS, it's not as high as something like a Yasuo or a Yone or yeah, any of those like bruisery champions. Alright, let's see the draft. At least it's a uh, hundred thieves blue side this game, which means that Cloud Nine has other things to ban. Okay, so hundred thieves bans the Yone, the perks Yone getting the fucking ban. Holy sh! TF goes to the side of hundred thieves. TF Camille insta locked. I mean, it's definitely gonna be Galio from uh, from hundred thieves or for uh, Cloud Nine has, has the TF Camille. I don't know if I said it wrong, but hundred thieves is definitely gonna go Galio here. I think good response to TF. It's one of Demonte's best champions. Be really surprised if it's not Galio on three here. Jack's game for sure. I would say Gragas is much better. Oh my god. I feel like so Jax is good, but I think someday is really bad at Jax from his performances earlier this tournament. I feel like they should have just taken Galio on three and then played something like Gragas top. Actually, no, you can't play Gragas top with Talia here, so you'd have to do something else. I mean, the other pick that, that would be really good here wouldn't be a someday pick either, which would be Fiora. They're giving 100 Thieves Galio. Yep, pretty much. There's the Galio. Yep. I, t I, I said that Galio was going to be up. I'm like, they're banning fucking... Oh my god, they're actually banning Leona and Rel when who he's going to be the one playing set. Oh, it's so triggering, man. Set mid? I mean, I feel like set mid is just not what they're good at. But I guess it is set mid now. But I feel like like here, it's just way better to, to ban out Galio. Because then they can't even flex it, really. I mean, they could go set mid, but then if they go like Leona or Rel... Like, Leona is not something that he plays super well. And then you can just counterpick it. Like, you have counterpick on support, right? So, why not just ban things that are actually just going to be good against your comp in general? Where Galio is just good into C9's comp in general. Oh, Blabber? Blabber just sent it. Oh my god, someday counter sent it. Holy shit, that was so bad for both of them. Nice. Yeah, who's already here? Oh, they're going for everything, man. 
It's gonna get the kill off Uhi, though. I mean, doesn't Fudge just die here? Oh, I guess someday doesn't kill him. All right. I guess this is why TF is good. It just becomes a 4v5, 3v4, I guess, here. Honestly, like, that looks really bad for 100 Thieves because two of them died, but they're actually still, like, pretty chill in this lane. Someday SCP here. Definitely fightable for 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves can fight this. Oh, they can fight this so hard. Okay, Blabber's just dead. And they got Drake. Massive, 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 massive. Silver lining is that um, Jax used TP, I guess. How is he not even supposed to win a fight? I mean, it's really hard for them. It's really, really hard. They, like, they're not supposed to win fights directly. They're supposed to play around side lanes with Camille and, and, and TF and get picks get an advantage in the mid game i mean at this point it feels like they've almost completely lost like they can still win if they just get random picks still but it's harder for them to win than it is for 100 thieves to win for sure 100 thieves can literally just walk to every dragon and, and c9 can't contest any of them put the ulti on and it felt like he honestly had a had an option but now this is a real play this is definitely an opportunity there fbi and who he kind of caught out he's gonna get a big root though and here comes sunday though and that's gonna be too much for fudge to handle has to flash away nice okay fudge is dead all right, all right perks is dead fudge is completely out of the fight at least fudge has dp here so it's not the end of the world but yeah i mean you still just play for drag here right two minutes and 20 seconds all these fights don't matter as long as you don't get an aced if you're 100 thieves play for your win con not looking as good as it could look, but whatever. Closer as wall soon. Oh man, that is that hurts. That hurts. Demonte didn't even ult this fight. I mean, they all got like sectioned off here. They should be so willing to just kill fucking perks. Like, they should be so willing to turn here and do that shit. Oh, I don't want a game five. Please, no game five. Holy, the combo. Okay, Zven Pentakill. What could Perks have done better these last two games? I mean, he played TF and he wasn't able to make any picks with TF, like, pretty much the entire game. So, a lot. And then the Yone game, he just randomly died for no reason as well. I don't know, 100 Thieves just weren't willing to just take the fight. It was so weird. They could actually just opt to fight and win. Let's fucking get this last game wrapped up. We just got into draft. Yone, Kaisa banned, 100 Thieves on blue side again. So now we have Olaf and Pantheon banned on the side of Cloud9. Lucian banned for 100 Thieves, okay. Hey, what did I say? First pick TF, 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 first pick TF. I said it before, first pick TF. Just first pick TF. They're f***ing griefing it. They're griefing it so hard. Why would they not first? I guess they're going to go Galio mid this game. They're going to go Jackson Galio mid. Rel, okay. So C9 should ban Galio right now, and they probably just win the game. It's going to be Galio. They, they just should ban Galio 100%. Ban set, ban Galio. Boom. Done. Finished. Wrapped up. That's your pick ban phase. Then Demonte has to play something like Orianna, Syndra, Zoe that he's not good at. Vayne is pretty shit here. They shouldn't pick Vayne into TF. That's a grief. Be Galio mid and they could probably go Samira. Rise and Vayne. Vayne into this comp seems like misery. I don't know. I feel like 100 Thieves grief themselves now. <laughs> Rel looks so useless when she's demounted. Or dismounted, whatever you want to say. <laughs> oh my god, FBI and Hui just taking it to Vulcan and Sven. That's crazy, dude. And they leashed. Okay, man. Okay. Double flash done. Damn. Guess uh, Rel shouldn't be looking for that right there. That's actually pretty bad for the Vayne. Vayne's down 10 CS and the wave crash and he missed the entire wave. Rip. Rel is forced to sit mid because Demonte is afraid he's going to get killed and ganked. Okay, Fudge ended up going bottom here. Fudge is so far behind, actually. I like how, how the game dynamic is just like, Fudge, just don't int the game so hard that we lose. That's it. That's all we hope for. Oh my god, Huhi, where are you going? Oh wow, 100 Thieves just want to lose super hard. They just can't wait to lose. They're like, please, can we lose? Holy sh**, they want to lose so bad. 
This is like probably it's so weird because like C9 technically win the series, right? Like if they win this game, they win the series. But I feel like this has been one of like the least impressive performances that we've seen. Like it doesn't feel like C9 actually won. It feels like Hundred Thieves lost, you know? Like is C9 the better team if Hundred Thieves just drafts Galio in like game four, or drafts Galio in game five, or drafts TF in game four? Or TF in game five. Are they Is actually it true the better that team? One hundred T was looking for Nemesis at some point. I have, no Dom. I have no idea. Probably not though, because someday and closer are both considered imports. Like hundred thieves just need to be more realistic realistic about the players they have. They don't have a fucking rise player, man. Like Demonte is just not a rise player. He's a TF player, he's a Galio player. You maybe get away with him on some like Zoe, some weird picks. There's absolutely no reason to give him rise into TF in a game like this. Okay, who is going for it? Oh my god, Sven got off so much damage. GG. GG, GG, Give him another Penta. Give him another one. Give him another Penta. Two Pentas for fucking Sven. Let's go. Demonte's face looks the most depressed. Yeah, I mean, he knows that he just got, like, he lost them the series. If Demonte was a better player, 100 Thieves win. Like, Perks didn't play at some insane level that was un unbeatable. I don't think Perks played pretty well. I, I don't think he played that well for himself, but it's a good result for uh, them, I guess. Oh my god, Perks just took off getting FBI's head. And Hunter Thieves just like trolled their draft so badly here, too. So, I'm f***ing tired. It was a long-ass stream today. 11 hours. I did it about 2 hours before this for RNG vs. World Elite. So, yeah, man. I've been up for a while. That's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys later. Appreciate it. Bye, guys.